Memorial Day is a time to honor our servicemen and women in life and in death. But tonight, police are looking for the thieves who targeted an Albuquerque veteran. They say criminals stole priceless possessions from the World War II hero's home. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain tells us why he was helpless to stop them. Shelly, he was once a prisoner of war and was recovering from hip surgery at the VA hospital. That's when a friend says burglars stole his war medals and a whole lot more. To Roy Hopper, these honors are everything. Those medals are for his service in World War II, yeah. Yeah. Okay. where he stormed the beaches of Normandy. Later, the Albuquerque veteran was captured by the Germans and held prisoner for nine months. Now, his friend tells Action 7 News those medals are gone, stolen, he says, while the 89 year old was in the hospital. He is totally devastated. Uh, his uh, morale is very low. Because Hopper's still in recovery, Lewis Wasson spoke to us on his friend's behalf. He's asking anyone with information to come forward. Please get him, contact the authorities and get him back in his possession. Mr. Hopper was in the hospital recovering from hip surgery when police say burglars targeted his home in northeast Albuquerque. Investigators couldn't find any fingerprints. That's why they believe the suspect was wearing gloves. We had a field investigator at the scene. And unfortunately, we weren't able to get any evidence of the individual that broke into the house. Albuquerque police say they're questioning one potential suspect, but have no other leads. They say guns and cash are also missing. But Hopper, seen here with General Colin Powell and First Lady Laura Bush, is only concerned about one thing. The money means nothing to him. He wants his military service medals back. Now, police hope the criminal tries to sell the guns because then they might be able to track them. But as of right now, no arrests have been made. We're told Hopper's name is inscribed on the back of the medals. If you have any information, call Albuquerque Police.